The new Exhibition Road space will offer us a new front door to the museum. Other than the courtyard being an, an incredible public open space, uh, one of the other chief characteristics is the fact that it's clad in over 10,000 ceramic tiles, porcelain tiles to be exact. And these are born out of a relationship between the architects, Amanda Levite, um, and Royal Tischler. We as a team were very interested in how we could pick up on, on, on what the v &A did and we could be inspired by the collection of v &A, and the v &A has this incredible ceramics collection. We had to, to understand technically and aesthetically what we wanted and what was possible. And so we undertook a lot of technical tests. We were firing clays with different pigments at different temperatures to understand colour variations, to understand shrinkage. What you have with porcelain is a totally vitreous material and a vitreous material is perfect for a civic environment because it doesn't absorb water, it doesn't absorb stains. Uh, so it's a kind of perfect material for this kind of condition. Obviously the V&A is a museum uh, which has embraced arts and crafts uh, for many, many years, and especially ceramics, and especially with uh, ALA architects, with whom we shared the curiosity of finding new materials, made us uh, very willing to do this project together and made us very eager to find this new material. Uh, you can see in the factory we cast every day 150 moulds uh, with a team of 10, 12 people. We slip cast them every day and the whole process takes a little bit more than a year. I think perhaps the most incredible thing about Ticular was this incredible will to be part of our process and, and so what we suddenly had from Ticular was, was a collaborator. Um, not just a producer, and they wanted to be part of the story, they wanted to do something marvellous for the v &A. they wanted to push the boundaries of what they were capable of doing. They saw that we wanted to push the boundaries of what they were capable of doing, and that has basically led to kind of such a rich process. The most difficult thing about these courtyard tiles is that we have a flat, smooth, matte surface, which is kind of slip resistant, and then a glazed surface which is less slip resistant so one of the challenges has been how do we retain that glaze but also meet all of the requirements that obviously are needed of a floor in a public space. And I think that's, that's sort of the joy of what we've achieved is this very simple pattern that reflects the structure beneath the, the, the sort of the catching light properties of the glaze and that is kind of picking up very subtly a, a kind of contrast with the red brick uh, and the terracotta of the existing buildings. It's something that is incredibly tangible, something very sensuous, something that will be here for a very, very long time. It's something that our grandchildren and our grandchildren's children will be able to appreciate. And to have bring a, a legacy uh, that has inspiration from our collections into the public realm is a hitherto incredible opportunity. It's kind of quite extraordinary.